Hey photographer, Jessica Whitaker here. I am sharing five common posing mistakes and how to fix them to improve your portrait photography. This is a free photography tutorial brought to you by KEH Camera. This is where you can buy, sell, trade in, and repair used camera equipment, whether it's film or digital. They actually have one of the largest online inventories of film camera gear. A misconception about buying used gear is that you don't know the actual condition of what you're putting your money into, which is the case when you're going on a third party auction site or a social media marketplace. But with KEH camera, every piece of equipment that runs through them is quality inspected thoroughly. In fact, they are so transparent about the quality that there's an entire ranking system. And when you go to a product page, you are able to see and select what quality you are interested in. So for example, excellent plus basically means it's like new down to bargain where there are cosmetic scratches, but it doesn't affect the end result or the picture quality. So if you're willing to go with bargain, you don't mind a little scratch here or there on the outside of the camera, that can result in you saving so much money. It's also friendlier on the planet and on your wallet. Now, if you have some random old film camera that's been in your back closet, but it's been there for five years collecting dust and you don't wanna necessarily throw it away and send it to the landfill, you can resell it to KEH. Or if you want to upgrade to a system and you want to put some cash from your old Mark IV into the new R6, you can do that through KEH. So if you are interested in this amazing resource, I will have KEH linked down below, as well as a coupon code and a selling bonus. And bookmark it for later because you will be thanking me later. Let's get into the tutorial. The first posing mistake is not showing off the manicure. Wrists are a very delicate feminine feature, and so we always want to highlight the wrists and the fingers. So Haley, I'm gonna have you put your hand up for me. And this is kind of like a very natural pose that we fall into and hand movement, but by just a little flick of the wrist, it instantly adds more detail, especially if your model has their nails done, has rings on, bracelets. These are accessories that add more detail and interest to your shot. The next posing mistake is a bit of a combination, and this will pair with our next tip. When you're taking a side shot and you have your model, let's stand up nice and tall, posture is good, but there's a little bit of tension here. Naturally, our shoulder goes up, but Haley, I'm gonna have you bring it down ever so slightly and see how that just opens up to the jaw and the neck. And it also shows the collarbone, which are a very feminine, delicate feature to highlight when you can. So this though isn't enough. We also want to adjust the posture. Even if your model is standing straight up, that line is a bit rigid. The next thing that I would do is have your model arch their back. And then the last thing is going to be pointing the jaw towards the camera. And this is beautiful, but I am getting too much of just the jaw here. I'm not getting her cheekbones. I'm not, the focus isn't really on her face. It's on the neck. How you can make this so beautiful, like the first photo on your dating profile is you're gonna have your model actually lean forward for me. Beautiful. This will also define the jaw. And then it's not so much the focus on the neck, rather on the face. And so this is going to require a bit of playing around with the angles, but this is gorgeous. If you wanna take your image one step further, avoid this posing mistake with the arm. A lot of the times our subject will have their arms straight down because that is what feels natural and relaxed. But this pushes all the skin forward, making the arm seem larger than it actually is. And so your clients will look at the photo and be unhappy because they're like, I don't look like this in real life. It's a simple posing trick to pull the arm away from the body. And now it looks like what it looks like in real life. However, it's quite stiff. It's not enough just to pull away. So Haley, I'm gonna have you add a bend to your elbow and then you're gonna pull that back. So then we see the waist, pull it away and pull it back and you are good to go. So if you find that the pose is looking fine so far, but it, you just need to take it one step further, you're not loving how it's so straight on, have your model 
have your subject take their back hip and just turn it ever so slightly. You're still gonna get a side profile shot, but this small movement might be what you need to get the image you're looking for. So if you find that your model, she's arching her back, but it needs to be a little bit more, um, tell her lower back instead of just the shoulders. And that might be um, what you need. So that is beautiful, Haley. And you could just see how it really snatches the waist and then really turn that hip out towards me ever so slightly. Gorgeous. The next posing mistake has to do with sitting down shots. Now I have already created an entire video all about how to take sitting down photos and how to pose, whether it is on a hard chair, a squishy chair, on the floor, if you're interested in that video, it will be linked in the I cards as well as down below. When your client has their leg crossed like this, it looks fine, but you can take it one step further by having your client sit up straight, engage the core. You are going to lift this knee up. It's beautiful. This automatically elongates the leg. Now, you want to pay attention though to the toes. We don't wanna see the sole of your shoes even if they're Louboutin, we don't wanna see it. I want you to point your toes down, beautiful. And then from here, we can take it one step further by having you, Haley, take this foot and bring it out ever so slightly. She could also bring it to the side, just kind of playing around with these little details. Making these small adjustments to pointing the toes, adjusting the leg, and bringing that knee up and engaging that core is what's going to really help your client be able to hold that leg up for a minute. This is going to create such a gorgeous pose. There are so many other details that I want to share with you, but it's over in the sitting down tutorial linked in the description box below. The next posing mistake is having your client have their weight distributed equally onto both legs. While this looks pretty, you can take it one step further by having your client put their weight onto only one leg or hip. And from here, they are going to physically feel more comfortable. They're gonna be able to lead. And from here, you can go into a variety of different poses. There are so many amazing snatch poses that you can do if you wanna get some cute swimsuit photos, if you want your butt to look amazing. We can do a whole video on that. It's still appropriate, but I mean, like we all love the little pop, you know what I mean? So if you're interested, let me know in the comments down below. You're gonna just see this small change makes a big difference and you can carry it throughout different different poses. If you're looking to join a kind, encouraging, and inclusive photography community, I invite you over to my Build and Bloom Facebook group. This is where you can ask questions, whether it's about how to formulate a client response to a tricky situation, or if you want feedback on your website, gear recommendations, this is a great encouraging place and it's free to join. Just search Build and Bloom on Facebook groups or click the link in the description box below. For daily tips, tools, and resources, follow along over on Instagram at Jessica Whitaker and be sure that you hit subscribe here on YouTube and turn on the bell to be notified when new free tutorials for your photography business come out. I will see you over in my next photography tutorial, how to take sitting down photos, how to elongate the legs, snatch the waist, your clients are going to love it. I'll see you over there. Bye.